this this actually is a jam. I should really. Oh, if I play Gran Turismo, I tell you, the Japanese soundtrack is so good. Anyways, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B and Dao stream today. It is yeah. It, it's today. It's the twelfth of September, twenty twenty-two, and I hope you at home are having a wonderful day and have had a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead. And I bumped the mic. Wonderful. Uh, how about let's hop right into it, because the, the longer I delay, the worse I get, apparently. So, get the game started up, and... Boom. Here we are. So, uh, it's another Tomb Raider stream. Uh, I always wonder, like, if you're at home watching this back, uh, tell me if you watch this live, or you stumbled upon this video, let me know whether you just stumbled upon this video, or you're actually watching it, like, right away. Because whenever I say, Ah, we just doing more Tomb Raider. Like, some people do binge watch all the, all the VODs in one go. Uh, and, uh, so every time I announce what game I'm playing, Yeah, you know what game I'm playing, you're watching the playlist for it. Uh, so anyway, in the last stream, we finished off the wonderful water levels of Tomb Raider 2, and in we go, into... And I should probably pull up the chat on my end. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Uh, in we go with the snowy levels of Tibet. We walk the corner. What's going on here? We have some monks in a fist, in a firefight with a, well, they're in a fist fight. The other guys are in a firefight. It's kind of annoying to target things because you will target onto the monks. The monks won't shoot you unless you shoot them. Well, the monks won't go for you unless you shoot them. Uh... They're never vital, but if they're alive, it, it, it sometimes makes things a bit nicer. I would love to be able to hit them, but they're kind of always in the way of these dudes. I don't think you get anything for keeping them alive either, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I hope you all have had a wonderful uh, time. Uh, today marks the very first day I felt confident in not wearing a jacket outside. It was 16 degrees Celsius, but I was like, you know what? Soak in the sun rays and uh, we'll feel a bit fine. So, oh my gosh, the revenge of the bird. And he's ducked off. He's buggered off. Uh, so, I remember this level being a bit snaky, having a lot to... Lots of, you know, switches, keys, whatever. Um, I don't remember much about it otherwise, but, you know, a learning uh. experience for all of us. Uh, yeah, other than that, um, I guess uh, at the beginning of the last stream, I had uh, wonderful internet problems. And since that, I have had zero internet problems. So uh, I always love internet problems. We all have them, but we can never explain them. And even as... Someone who writes software, I can never really explain why internet cuts out so severely and then without really any indicator. Like, you think it would be an, an instant indicator. It's much better than in the day when you'd used to never get anything. Now you get, like, a prompt maybe a couple of hours later um, from your, your ISP on your thing saying, oh, you had an outage, and it's like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, or even better, um... Even better, uh, I had a few moments where they told me I had an outage, and I was sitting here pretty going, what? What is going on? So... Okay, well the good news is the, the temple's closed. I think, uh, this ladder in the back. At least there's a bit of a cutout, but unfortunately it's a bit uphill. There's also no audio, no music, yet. So it's completely dead silent. I hope you appreciate Silent Tomb Raider. I definitely will say that, like... Uh, uh, oh, oh my gosh, he was hiding up here the whole time. Uh, I, I remember, um... I think, actually, if you play the DOS version of uh, Tomb Raider, if you get it on Steam, there's no music. The music is just not playable in that version. You have to do some fancy trickery to get it working, and, uh... On my, uh, on my stream, I, I got it working, but it's just like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I was just like, yeah, like, you're kind of missing something if you play it without music. And there's a lot of old games that are just, that's, that's the case. They just don't 
really work quite out of well actually they should work out of the box with, with the music uh, i remember quake was a similar boat the old quake version on steam just didn't have the music working even the new version still doesn't have sorry the new version of quake one does the new quake 2 still doesn't have the music even on the, the quake 2 rtx version I'd probably argue that that music is jamming. It's vibing. So. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Oh, oh, he's coming. He's coming. There you go. Uh, so this is above here. Uh, I've got an idea. Here we go. Let's slide down here, grab the ledge, and then grab the next one. There we go. Climb across, and we should be all good. All good. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's mid-September. Like, I've felt, I don't know, I've just felt the cold a lot uh, this past, um, well, this year in particular. Loud glass breaking noises. We've, bro we've broken into their monastery. It, it was like an ancient temple, but they've clearly got the same glass windows as the Venetians. So, who knows, really. Uh, I don't believe there's any like weird tricks and traps going on up here. Here's a monk. If you're, if you're you know, trigger happy, yeah, they're, they're a bit of an issue, but just ignore them. Don't ignore this guy, though. Chandeliers, I swear. Be able to take it. Yeah. There you go. You can take him out before the the monk gets to him. You get to keep the monk alive, where, where he will proceed to get in your way and push you around. Maybe he isn't. <laughs> maybe he isn't worth keeping. Who knows? Uh huh. He is actually just gonna watch me out here. I don't think there's anything up in this doorway, but clearly, <laughs> clearly you've got a path to go to, which. No. The seraph does not fit in there, so alas, but it was worth a try. That's a fun noise. Oop. At least they alert to there being enemies. Where did that guy come from? Sometimes they're also not very good at hitting anyone. They seem to just be running. He is he is just bold and he's he doesn't even care. There you go. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Uh huh. There we are. It just came out of nowhere. Oh, the chandelier. Are the chandeliers are just lanterns. Okay. Well, I'm getting like Dark Souls one flashbacks. Ooh. So what's through here? Um, looks like a ladder. Uh, but yeah, I have a. A mild bit of mildly exciting news. Uh, if you're one of like two people who follows me on Mastodon.online, well, uh, be prepared for a mild inconvenience or not. I don't know. And if you're someone who doesn't follow me on Mastodon Online, uh, um, well, I guess if you don't know what Mastodon is, Mastodon is a Twitter alternative and uh, one that's kind of nice because uh, I feel like your exposure is just a lot better on there. Um, I've just been cross-posting from there. I've not really been, like, ruling out Twitter. Uh, I don't really think it's, like, uh -huh. crazy healthy to disregard the Twitter audience on stream alerts and other kinds of stuff like that. Um, but Mastodon's kind of neat just because uh, it's a lot easier to browse or to find newer people, I find. And on top of that, uh, it's easier to find uh, very like-minded topics. Uh, or... At least I'm at the bottom of the slope. There we go. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, I've got... Is this another one? I did the side jump expecting to be able to jump, like, right away. And I couldn't. So, ugh. Um, yeah, so, uh, anyway, so I, I have had um, a Macedon account at being out at mastodon.online for a while uh and i felt one kind of annoying part about the mastodon and and uh 
I guess the Fediverse in its entirety uh, is a uh, it's kind of a weird division. There's a lot of people on on a uh, certain Macedon's uh, instances or um, I guess just activity pub. Uh -huh. That's the the protocol that uh, just seem to like you know hard block really popular domains and then the really popular domains uh, maybe they hard block other ones. Um, so the workaround is something that I thought, hey, you know, it'd be kind of cool to, to just do in general anyways, is uh, to self-host your own Mastodon. So uh, uh, I now have a self-hosted Mastodon. You can just go to m.bandower.com, uh, just the letter M, that's it. Uh, I'll be repointing uh, the links in all my descriptions. So if you, if you click on that, I'll just go to, to my Mastodon. And that's just me. I'll be posting kind of the same things across uh -huh. all three. I'll probably phase out the Macedon.online uh, account soon. Um, I'll still cross post to Twitter because I know people use Twitter. Um, but I would highly recommend uh, just following uh, the m.pnr.com. Uh, and if you've never used Macedon, well, you just make an account anywhere on any other Macedon and you can follow that. You don't have to be on the same instance. I am sucked to the floor. I am sucked to the floor. Who put a, who put a sucking floor here? Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a hassle to set up though. It, it was, there's a, a handful of like auto kind of setup ones. Um, I decided to go the ultimate ultra cheap route of uh, running it off Oracle Cloud who does not charge you for really basic instances, but you gotta watch out on two things. Uh, if you have a setup an instance on that one, uh, the VP, the VPC, that's a very, uh, Amazon name, but, uh, it's a lovely fence. I don't know. What's, what's this fence doing here? Um, but the, the subnet that they give you, one, it doesn't have IPv6 enabled, and then two, um, uh, you have to enable the traffic uh, to the subnet. Sorry, you have to enable. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wait, there. I've got flares. It's been like a hot moment since I've used flares in this game. I'm just like looking at it, going like, "Are you supposed to see any of this?" Ah, oh, the door touched me. I saved before the water? I didn't save before the- Ah, dang it. Alright, call me out. I gotta save more often. Um, but, uh, yeah, so when you're setting it up, you gotta figure out how to turn on IPv6 on the on the Oracle Cloud subnet. Uh, it's a bit obscure, but sure, okay. Uh, you're then gonna make sure that there's traffic only specifically on ports 80 and 443, because that's HTTP traffic, sure. And then you gotta also add a, uh, an IP table rule. Um, I swear, uh, like, Amazon, like, forwards it from the, the VPC. I swear, like, you just set it once, but then it's like, no, I gotta double set it. I've gotta not only set the, the subnet, but I've also got to tell the device to, to not drop those packets. Kind of irritating, but sure. And then, uh, number two was, uh, the instance only has one gig of RAM, and it has no swap file uh, configured. So the moment that one gig of RAM is used up, not even the moment it's used up, just the moment it gets close to it, uh, the instance decides to hard freeze, which is kind of annoying when you aren't monitoring it on the side. It just, just stops. So uh, give it give us some swap file, and it's not doing anything too intensive, so... Oh. oh my gosh, how do I... How do I aim at the right guy here? Get him, get him, get him! You didn't get him. Uh, yeah, once you get that, um, then I guess the only thing is making sure you got a domain. Uh, there's a reason why it's m.bnl.com and not any other longer domain name, and that's because uh, we're reusing really domain names. But that's the fun part about owning bnl.com, and really your own domain. Uh, oh boy, where does this go? Like, I, I guess there's no point in... Oh, wait. This is a block. So I could I could pull this the whole way. A bit of a 
cheeky ledge. This is... That's really cheeky looking, I'll tell you that. Uh, so in that case, let's pull this out. Maybe this will unlock a shortcut so I don't have to crawl all the way back here. So I've still got that key from earlier. I never tried it on any door. Uh, yeah, yeah. Other than that, like, you just set up your server, you point your DNS to the instance. And away you go. That's, that's your single instance. Like, it's probably not intensive enough to support, you know, really much more than one user. Uh, but it's my instance. And I can do whatever I want. And the nice thing is, it's just like RSS. So you just follow it, and that's that's cool. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I don't go on a various ban list. Probably not. I don't say anything too too weird on there. Naturally, I guess you know, like Mastodon and other kind of decentralized things always always attract uh, people with a very um. Uh, I guess colorful language or topics. Oh, oh, okay. So that that is literally a checkpoint here. Okay. Um, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, well, that's just gonna lead its way back up, right? That's yeah, that's the ladder. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? It's like I guess uh. Like, there's a, there's a degree of, uh, I don't want to say self-censorship, in the sense of, like, I, I don't say things I want to say, um, because I try to keep things on, like, a specific kind of topic on this channel, uh, but it's definitely one where, uh, you know, the, there's people of all kinds of, all kinds of, uh, backgrounds, all kinds of, uh, topics that they like talking about. And, uh, I guess having your own instance and just being able to, you know, that's, that's the kind of stuff. That's the most mean enemy placement, because he, he goes ham, jeez. Um, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of cool to set up. Most other instances are pretty cool with just, like really your usage in general like they don't go like oh you're uploading too many files uh this sh these are gonna start fires what's with the music i'm worried about the music oh there's the fires can you just jump in between the fires like that and do another one over here. Okay, sure. So what did I pick up? I picked up the prayer wheels. The prayer wheels. Okay. Uh, that definitely looks like the dead end of wherever I just went though. Like, I don't see any extra doors. And if I did, then cool. Jesus Christ. Hi, Mr. Crip. How you doing? You didn't just join in and it just immediately spooked you with the music, did it? I hope it didn't spook you with the music. The music gets to me. It's just like, because you get no no music, no sound. I just hear the rushing water of the next room, and that's it. <laughs> oh, seizure lights. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess, will I move anything else to private self-hosted thing, uh, not anything in particular. I don't have any, like, huge need to jump, uh, I know there's alternative, like, video hosting sites that people have, uh, but if there's one thing that Twitch does do and, and there's no real alternative, it's, uh, definitely exposure. Um, I'm not doing this as, like, a popularity thing, I just kind of want to, like, you know, like, what, what's the thing? I just want people to see it and have fun and and uh, enjoy the stream for what what it is. And uh, there's uh, I don't know actually. I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to like uh, formulate how to like say like I want more people to watch the stream, but like I don't really have a desire to become like crazy ultra famous. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's not about it's not about the popularity. It's just having a couple of people say hi. That's all good. 
Uh, so, anyway, in this monastery, obviously, you've got the spinning wheels of doom. And is that a door at the other end? That's not... That was a, you know. Oh, you tried to take chocolate from the fridge two minutes ago. It got stuck with egg. I realized the two-way and the egg got free from the chocolate and broke on the floor. Oh, no. I would not have guessed that from the, from the Jesus Christ. So this is the main hall key. I wonder what this opens. Okay, it opens the main hall. So here's the main room. We've got a big statue at the back. We've got a monk. And <laughs> here comes the dude. Uh, I've got the prayer wheels, but obviously no. that's not going to go in there. I love how you can't hear the bullets yet. Alright, there's only two dudes, and that guy's copping it real hard. Oh, we got one! Up to no, I'm not helping them. Get him! Do they hate me? I'm good, I'm good. Maybe they don't hate me, because I was- they were in the middle of the fight. Or maybe I never hit them. I don't know how the heck chocolate can- and, uh, stuck with egg. Uh huh. Like, what kind of chocolate egg did you, did you? It was chocolate and an egg. I guess I don't really put my chocolate in the fridge. I leave my chocolate out um, in the pantry. And I'm in Australia. It's very likely to melt. But I like my chocolate like kind of room temperature-y. If it's too cold, it just it tastes too cold. It, it, it's just got this weird. It's just a weird, like, texture. But it's like chocolate, like, sweats if you've got it too cold. And if it sweats, then it loses a lot of flavor, I find. Okay, well, that is a way to get up here. But that is obviously not a doable jump. Actually, is that a do doable jump? Okay, it is a doable jump, but I guess the question is... What do you do from here? I guess he can climb... I guess he can climb over. <laughs> yeah, he might be able to climb over. <laughs> it's kind of weird with the, uh, the flame there. <laughs> you saw the health going down. But technically, you can climb over. The, uh, the theme being used. It's kind of cool. Is this the right thing to put no. in here? No. Okay, so I climbed all the way up here for nothing. That's kind of cruel that you only know like what to put in there after it's too late. You package chocolate bar in the fridge and she's stuck to a chicken egg. I, I'm still kind of stunned how a chicken egg gets stuck to your block of chocolate. It's like, aren't your chicken eggs in a... Oh, okay. Aren't your chicken eggs in a, uh, in a carton? So I guess I gotta find the other prayer wheels. Put them on there. Oh, there's another one on that side. There's another three. Oh, there's five, there's five of them total. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the hunt for the prayer wheels continues. And they all go down there. I'm, I'm hearing. I'm not seeing. It's a very interesting room. Sure. Uh. But enough about a... Uh, I guess Mastodon, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll do an announcement on the Mastodon, because I guess I haven't announced it yet, but uh, hopefully the server doesn't die. And if it does, then I will find other ways to maintain it, but it'd be kind of cool keeping the domain and just uh, doing cool stuff with that. Well, I guess the domain I've had for a while, but uh, I was thinking it's like, ah, ah, check this out. It's like a real fleshy innard. That's the statue, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So I got one thing I'd, I'd never talked about, uh... 
I forgot who on uh, two streams back was mentioning the... Uh, oh, I also want uh, to know that. I just took it out of the fridge with an egg, went with chocolate for four seconds before getting unstuck and smashed all clean floor that my mother was cleaning. I say, ah, nothing's worse than smashed chocolate. It's never fun to pick up. Uh, so one thing that, yeah, came up a few uh, weeks ago and I never really mentioned was a uh, AMD announced uh, the Ryzen 7000 uh, CPU lineup that they had. Um, and uh, yeah, someone someone mentioned it, and it didn't even, didn't even click in my head that the announcement was literally 9 a.m. Uh, my time the next day, and the stream ended at like 11. So I went to bed and uh, at least chocolate is fine. True, true. Uh, but yeah, no, they announced the Ryzen 7000 CPU. So that, oh my gosh, I jumped. I actually jumped. I was like, oh god, oh no. Uh Oh boy, did I not save for a hot moment? I guess the only thing I really need to get is uh the, the secret again cuz uh I'm just going to put the I'm just going to put the totem in the spot. Anyways, it's uh, uh -huh. in my belly. True, true. The best place for chocolate. Chocolate is amazing. It's one of the, one of the greatest inventions of all time. We just figured out, you mix some milk, put some cocoa, put it all together, boom. Immediately recognizable and uh, delicious treat for everyone. There you go, it didn't fall for it this time. Oh boy. <laughs> This is just a maze of just rooms all over the place. Like, what What am I looking at here? Like, what's going on here? I've just got a downstairs route. And what did this lead me to? A closed door. Congratulations, everyone. The most practical pathway in the entire game. I guess that's the thing with like a level like this, um, and I know Tomb Raider 1 had a few levels like this where it's just like, you, you've got your spot where you clearly need to put in a bunch of keys, and then, uh, oh. Jeez. It is great until you eat Russian bitter chocolate. I've never, I've not been a bitter guy though. My chocolate is, uh, usually, uh, fairly like balanced. guy. And so who's the guy shooting me? Where's the guy? I was getting shot last time. Nice. Well that opens that door. Get him boys, get him. They're definitely getting someone, I don't know. But <laughs> Very weird. Um, but yeah, no, so they announced, uh, the Ryzen 7600X, 7700X, 7900X, and 7050X, 7950X, the same, same parts as last uh, year, but with a 7 at the front, except, or not last year, the year before, uh, except, uh, a handful of differences, one, uh, they are doing a 7700X instead of a, Instead of what they had, the 5800X, that just kind of implies maybe there's a, a higher end 8 core later down the line. And uh, they all have 1 meg of L2 cache per core, I think, off the top of my head, if I'm correct, instead of uh, half a meg. Uh, and that's it. New core architecture, but who knows under the hood? Uh, oh, new socket, of course, and they're doing that spider design. Um, but uh, I guess the big thing I wanted to kind of talk about is because uh, one, uh, yeah, there was the announcement and it was a while back. Um, but also uh, the review embargo is released tomorrow. So it's just like most people are going to, uh, you know, have a, have a have more knowledge about what it, what it is than me on the stream. So I wanted to talk more about, uh, I guess, the realm of leaks and then the realm of uh, like pre-release 
where it's like now we've got official citations but it's like what do you do about it uh also first two days of september hot next days winter is coming i'll oh, check this out this is just uh -huh. up here you got plus 32 yesterday too bad here it's plus four. Oh, it goes 32 to four. Oh. i don't think we get too much crazy weather swings here in uh coastal new south wales uh Kind of interesting. You gotta climb this like tall tower just to <laughs> just to get one of the pieces up the top. There we go. Drop down a little bit. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think the kind of interesting thing is to pa partly lie Russian, a party lie Russian, a party like Russian. I know, I know the the stereotypes of the Slavic squat. Is that is that accurate? You're chilling your Adidas with your bottle of vodka and your hard bass playing. Is that actually like a big thing? Because it's because it's like uh -huh. I I don't know what like people Australian or people stereotype Australian music other than like didgeridoo, um, kind of outback you know, twangy guitar kind of sound. Uh, they took out two guys on the stairs here. Uh -huh. No, I didn't. I know I didn't come up to say hi because they dropped health. I would have gotten the health too. All right, interesting little corner, but <sighs> nearly fell for that again. Is there anything actually down there? It just looks like it's a pit. It's actually just a pit. Let's let's investigate. Yeah, no, it is just a pit. It is actually just a pit. You just described almost all family holidays for poor families. At least you don't own, like, decommissioned tanks. And, uh... I'm trying to think. Is there, is there one other... One other... The only one I know is Russian X-Men. That's the only other one I know of. But I know Russian X-Men, like, there's a reason why they're the Russian X-Men, you know? <laughs> it's so good, though. Okay, we got another room over here. Everyone likes rooms with a view, and there is no view yet. Okay, this is certainly a view. Jeez. Oh, I have fallen into the water. Oh, there's a barrel there. What? Is this climb outable? Yeah, that'd be climb outable. You'd slide down from there. You'd slide down from there. Ooh, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Sure, I'll, I'll accept another secret. I've been casually stumbling upon a lot of secrets. I'm curious if, uh, I think the game does do a counter at the end to tell you how many of the secrets you got, I think, out of 51. Um, so for reference, there are 17 levels in this game. This is level 12, so uh, I definitely anticipate uh, beating the game next stream. I don't know by how much, but... Uh, and uh, we've got some bonus levels to play afterwards, so don't worry, but... Oh, what is going on? What is actually going on here, first of all? Oh, it turns off. New Year drink, Easter drink, Victory Day and World War II drink, commemoration of Dead Family Members Day drink. I'm actually... I... Interesting that, like, you've got a, um... A war commemoration. I guess we've got Anzac Day here in Australia. I always find Anzac Day to be a, a bit of a... A bit of a... Uh, how do I say? How do I say it? Like, An Anzac Day is like, you know, a, a World War One date. Um, and uh, definitely a tragedy date. I always find that's weird when we have, like, holidays... Uh, Kind of, it's not necessarily celebrating. That's not the word. 
Victory day against Germany. Ah, okay. But I guess, like, yeah, every country kind of has, like, a, a war victory day. Like, we used to have, um... I was gonna say Burning Man. I'm not 100% sure if uh, Burning Man is quite the right phrase to use now. I really need to look into my war, like, celebration dates. Uh, here in uh, Australia, we've actually got a, a declared public holiday uh, for next um, Thursday because uh, I think it will just be a one-off. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's because uh, since since the last stream, uh, Queen Elizabeth II passed away, England's queen uh, of 70 years. Like, 70 years is a really long time to be a queen. And, uh, she did a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. It was militarism propaganda day, so... Uh, so I definitely know that's something that uh, definitely affects uh, a lot of people. Uh, I watched uh, the F1 broadcast, and it's surprising how many of them have met the queen. Because it's just like... You know, a very prestigious thing in, in England, I guess. And also, I guess, you know, if you're a race car driver, you're pretty, pretty famous already. Uh, but it's just like, man, you know, like, the Queen got around and met a lot of people, apparently. Uh, actually, it's Militarism Propaganda Day. Do they call it Militarism Propaganda Day, or is that just... You call it Propaganda Day. I guess all... <laughs> a lot of war stuff is, uh, inherently propagandist. It's not a, not like a dig, it's just more like a, you know. Oh, I, oh. I was almost dead. Uh -huh. These guys could have dealt with it. Now, I've completely forgotten where that red key went. Like, I've got the key, I just forgot where the trapdoor key Trap door key. I'll find it again. I'll come across it again. At least they colored the keys, kinda, this time. But a very bizarre level. Like, I'm wandering around and they put some traps here. Like, I'm wandering around and just, like, finding lots of keys. There's no... Okay, I was like, they didn't just put a guy in the room, did they? Now there's a gold key. Maybe that activates the one at the top. Bro is actually gonna get killed by his own traps. Bro, watch out! What the heck? He just survives his own traps. Maybe it's just an illusion. But yeah, no, the... Uh... Yeah, they, they, were, they were talking about a lot on the retro. Just for info, one veteran of World War II died in winter of cold because she had a giant hole in the house. The local government ignored her even after people show her on TV. <coughs> they just show her on TV like that? Jeez. What is the point of going all the way down here? Just... That doesn't even look like it's part of the rest of the level. Oh, wait! Is that the trap door? Can't remember. Oh, I guess since the last stream as well, that reminds me, they announced um, uh, a new DLC for Cyberpunk, or rather the first of potentially some number of DLCs, who knows, uh, for Cyberpunk. I have not played Cyberpunk still, but all I know is, well, that, that answers that trap doors. Greetings, Blub! All I know is that, uh, the DLC, uh, has ditched support for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Uh, which finally makes it yet another next-gen game. There's a surprising lack of next-gen games, despite those consoles being out for two years. And on top of that, uh, and I've mentioned it before, but since the PS5 is now more expensive, it's, uh, a little bit less of a deal. Um, so, uh, I have not done a full level yet, no. And I know we're 40 minutes into the stream, I just... Yeah, I just realized. The whole point of the, the level is to collect these prayer wheels. There are five of them. And I've picked up two. So, uh... My goal is going to be trying to get three levels done. Because, uh... If this is level 12, we'll get 12, 13, 14 this stream. And we can get 15, 16, 17 the next stream. 
And I know level 17 is really short, but there's also a bonus, which is kind of end of level thing. Uh, HR, uh, she asked for help for five years. Oh my gosh, jeez. Pick up three more. I, I'm trying to pick up three more, okay? Let's slide down. Oh, wait. <laughs> Why slide down there when you can just go up? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you remember, uh, there is no try, only do and do not. That is true. Um, if you remember the, uh, from Tomb Raider 1, there's that one level where you had to get three blocks of iron and then touch a Midas statue to convert them into gold. Um, and the same principle applies in this level. You've got your target, you've got a spot that you can clearly go to. But you need to get all the keys in order to make it work. I love these canyon bits. They do more of them in, in uh, especially Tomb Raider 3. Yeah, what's the point of that closed door over there? I don't know. Oh, what's worse than, than a guy with a gun? Bird. Oh, wait, Uzi, he just touched the Midas statue. Uh, it does end the level. It ends more than just the level, though. It is kind of fun, though, uh, just because it's the only, like, cutscene ending in the game, isn't uh -huh. it? Like, it just kind of cuts to it. Uh, I said I was going to zoom the rest of the level, but like I was going to hopefully not have to look things up. And I haven't looked anything up yet, so I've got that going for me, at least. Where were you? You could have helped me, Mr. Monk. There's birds! Get the birds! Target the birds! <laughs> Target the monk! Help me! Help me, Monk! Monk, you are not helping! At the very least, I think a lot of these, like, side cuts... You'll get the, the... Um... The piece of the column. And then, uh... Oh, that's a... That's a weird jump and a half. Because, like, you don't, like... You know... Connect yourself to the ledge. Make it work, but just it's kind of weird, but sure. Um, yeah, all of these side paths seem to just keep going and then gives you at least something. Like, you're not. Oh, oh, I should have saved it as up. Um, okay, back up, back up. We're good. All right, back, forward, easy. Okay, I will, I will actually save up here. I feel really cold for Lara, like, geez, you know, no pants. Zoom through the levels in terms of number of levels. Well, okay, so this only, yeah, so this is level 12. We're doing 12, 13, 14 this stream, and then 15, 16, 17 next stream. So there's only two more streams worth of levels. Okay, so we can open the door. Does that mean there's a gift inside here? Aha, there's one of the columns. Or one of the wheels. So, okay, that puts me at three. Puts me at uh -huh. three. Uh, let me some eight-hour streams occasionally. The only thing with an eight-hour stream is that I'm streaming at 8.30 p.m. my time, and I'm usually an early, like, wake. So, like, like the streams that go until Annie's dead fought one dude and didn't even make it. Uh, but the streams that, like, uh, I think the longest stream I've ever done was like 3 hours 11. I think it actually might have been one of the Tomb Raiders. Uh -huh. um, yeah, when it took an extra 23 minutes. Yeah. Um, so, so the stream ending like would have ended at like 11.50 and I, I always wake up at like 6am. Um, I'm not very good with sleeping in with the sun out. I'll tell you that. That's, that's my one Achilles heel. Um, it would have been. That stream went close to 3 hours. I think it was 2 hours 50. Uh, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, um, hard, it wasn't, like, yet three hours, so. That being said, if I'm doing three levels a stream, and I'm already 45 minutes, uh, you know, taking a bit of time on this one, but. That is a real cheeky ledge. I don't think, I don't think you're supposed to really grab it from that angle, but. Which other way do you go, you know? 
All right, so what else do I have that will connect me? I have this key, the strong room, so we can go into the back room. Uh, it feels like two lives. It did take a while. Oh. Let's get him with a good gun. Let's get him with a shoot gun. I wanted to take him out without him killing me. Really, the Uzis are actually like tearing me apart, I'll tell you that. I just, whoa. Well, I guess that's not the whole point of the Uzis, I guess. Uh, so this will... Oh, I... oh my god, they didn't put a ceiling in this room. They didn't put a ceiling in the room. Come on, guys. I assume that's supposed to be the sky, but they messed it up. Is that the front door to the... Oh, no, this is just another side room. I got him. I got him. Get him. I'll save this guy. I think. Get out of the way, bro. Is he, is he actually, like, blind firing? Can't believe it. Alright, we did it. We took him out. I love these monks. They're cool. Just, they get in the way all the time. <laughs> Can't do anything about them. Uh-huh. So yeah, so I wanted to mention the topic of, um, I guess, uh, that, yeah, that period when, uh, there's a product, and I'm gonna say specifically tech product right now, uh, where there's leaks, and then there's an announcement, and you haven't yet got it in your hands yet, because, uh, reviewers have not yet said anything about it. Uh, I did it as emulation part of the thing. Uh, wait, it's alright, I, I missed the topic entirely on that one, which one? The, or they did... And it's emulation. No. Uh. Oh, oh, as in, as in, um, like, uh, when, uh, Pokemon games, people, like, dump them before they actually got properly released. True, true. Uh, the, the context of this would be, like, the AMD Ryzen chips that are announced now. Uh, two weeks ago, um, I never, like, I knew they were coming, I didn't quite realize they were going to get announced half a day later, uh, after the stream, so literally the VOD was entirely, uh, just... I just opened a door with a key to get another key. Uh-huh. For literally the room that I just walked in. Why did... Why? Why? Why would they actually design that? That just wastes my time. Unless you get to spawn an enemy right here. Even then, that's kind of annoying. Nope. Nope, I'm just gonna go in. I've got one concern, and that is, I've got three of the things, I can't think off the top of my head where the fifth one would be, but there is a thing at the top of the hands that I can put an item in, but I don't know what item goes in there, so I'm hoping it reveals itself to me. Po Pokemon Mod is off the Game Freak published game on Unity. Oh, dude, like, they're going absolutely nutty on that, I'll tell you that. At releasing anything on Unity, if you do release any game on Unity, just be prepared for all the modders to kick in on that one. And just embrace it. Just go for it. Okay. It turns off the, the torches, and then you just gotta bolt it. Oh, you gotta jump over these as well. Oh. Oh, leapfrog, leapfrog, Lara, leap. Oh. Whoa, it was a bit, it was a bit close at the end, but I got there. So now that I'm over here, this is a fun wall, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of interesting seeing like just like the the non map textures. No. No. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Maybe I'll pick up two things. Um, but yeah, I guess in the context of the, the Ryzen chips, uh, the, f the first thing I guess is... Uh, oh, 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 get him! Get him, boys! Get him! They can't get you if you, if you just stand far away enough and they're not aiming at you. Uh, 
Uh, it's like the time when Nintendo made Mario Maker because I got tired of people saying how to make a good uh, 2D Mario game. That is true. Shotgun's good fun. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that totally kind of feels like it. I remember people kind of ripping into the new Super Mario Brothers games uh -huh. and calling them uninspired, which is really unfortunate because I think new Super Mario Brothers U gets very overlooked, but it's surprisingly solid if, you know, the fourth new Super Mario Brothers game. But it's because new Super Mario Brothers 2 should have never existed. That's... <laughs> That's a that's a, a shame that game does exist and that they called it too, so they effectively uncanonized <laughs> the Wii game. But I think the Wii U one is pretty alright, and uh, uh -huh. apart from Luigi U, they didn't do another one, so it's not like we can argue that they milked it that hard. Well, <laughs> granted, I guess it was six years between the first and the fourth games, so... What did that reveal oh wait yeah that revealed these two so why would i go down here oh that's on the other side of this uh this wall so this is actually yeah most two and 3d mario games have been at least really solid yeah and actually there's one thing i noticed um i was playing a, a had in time uh for the first time i've actually I've, I've kept it pretty spoiler free for me and i'm just playing through and i'm going you know this is really really good this is really nice fun and uh, I appreciate how much, like, uh, unique feel they gave each level. It's quite neat. Um, this didn't really end up somewhere new. Let's just open up this door. Why? Maybe that's the way to climb out, which implies I should have picked up something down here. I see, I see, I see. Um, but uh, one thing would have had in time, and it's immediately obvious if you play Mario Odyssey, which came out literally three weeks later. Uh -huh. I know had in time was a Kickstarter game and had early access built and stuff, but uh -huh. uh, it has a full release date and I'm going to run by that. Um, one problem with the had in time is that the camera is completely center fixed on the player. And anytime you walk in a direction, the camera just is so stuck to you. And then every time you go up against a wall, oh, the camera just pushes right in. It's very uh, old-fashioned and maybe a little bit not quite thought of. There's a bunch of times when I'm just, like, going around and the camera just... It's it's pushing up against things. It's not unplayable, but it's definitely, like, you know, when you play Mario Odyssey, one thing that's really smooth about Mario Odyssey, and I, I love this fact, is every time Mario jumps, the camera never moves up with him. It makes the jumps so much easier to understand when the ground stays at the same level the entire time. Now, the camera still follows Mario, but suddenly every jump just becomes a, a challenge of, like, positioning yourself quite right. Um, but yeah, no, the, the camera only moves up once Mario lands on a higher ledge. Until then, he is uh, completely... I Also, yeah, I gotta put the switch in. <laughs> Let's not run off with two of the switches and not put one in. Um, I think like that's a really like cool thing. And there's a lot of like really nice parts about Mario Odyssey, but I'd say definitely like like Mario platformers have continually been like really one upping themselves. And I know people will complain that like oh Mario sixty sorry Mario Galaxy doesn't have um, you know the camera controls kind of suck. But then it's like you know how often do the camera controls get in the way? That just open. Oh, that pushed this back. Interesting. And now there's a box that I've got to push. Okay. <laughs> I'm really curious where this level keeps leading me, and that is the end of the box push. So I we'll guess we'll pull. We'll pull it. Keep pulling it, bro. Yeah, I like, and and it's it's very bizarre because it's like I think there is like certain like parts of the internet that would just go, ah, uh, like it's a Nintendo uh -huh. game. Developers, how do I suppose to put your game on this tiny cartridge? Nintendo, okay, boys, time to time to make another game and punch it 
you know, until until it feeds. Ooh. Like like yeah, N Nintendo, like they are so crazy dedicated. I think actually last um last week I was playing uh, Ocarina of Time and uh, I've got the big flex now and I've got the um oh I think I was playing the three heart run. I think I was talking about the three heart run. Um, but yeah, no big flex. I've gotten every achievement in it and uh. Or at least on retro achievements. He is, again, tanking the traps. How is he doing it? Um, and, uh, like, yeah, Ocarina of Time, like, the more I think about it, it's like, man, you know, that game has so much going for it. There's so much, like, depth and scale to it all. Like, when you think about it, when, there's just so many bits to it. So, okay, so now I could put a thing at the top of the totem. And hopefully, that does lead me to the last of the columns. I have not used the right name. The gemstone goes at the top of the statue, which will give me another wheels. Now I gotta do this jump again. This is a long level though, isn't it? There's just so many, like, different pathways all over the place. Oh. I would have thought the statue moved, but, you yeah, know, it's, it's climbable at least. Yeah, okay, I know I'm going to botch this one up, so... Let's, uh, prepare the, prepare the coffins. And one more step back. Take a bit of fire damage, but then I can grab the ledge. Okay. Uh, but yeah, N Nintendo is really good at, at cramming stuff into their games. Um, I guess Splatoon 2 just came out. I have not been playing Splatoon 2 because I don't have a Switch Online membership. So I feel like a lot of the game is kind of lost on me. Although uh, I, I hear that the single player has more going for it than the other ones, which is kind of surprising. Okay, that's underneath. That's underneath the statue. I know that that's down there. some aha music, you know. Uh, so underneath the statue is down here. Music on background, random dude stuck in for four, 500 years. <laughs> Do you think only Lara hears the music? Like it's like the gears turning, you know? Alright, we got a ramp. I have now climbed up into another room and there are barrel machines, there's a door. Is that a door or a box? That is a door, okay. And that slides back down into this room, wait a minute. Oh, I was thinking, it's like, no way would they just lead you back up. Surprisingly, there are a lot of landmarks on this level. I'm able to identify that, like, ah, I've been in this room before, because this is the room with the water. So if I were to climb up to the other side, she hears voices in her head. It's like the classic thing of, like, uh, what's, what's the, like, close your eyes, imagine, like, a red heart or something. Now, like, which of these images does the red heart mostly resemble? There you go, it stops the water. There's no more water. Purely because I put a block in the way. Uh, which means you gotta be a bit careful coming out of here. Whoa. There we go. Just getting crazy after she killed that lady in one game. She was, she was either a demon or, uh, an Atlantean god. I think you can get a pass on her. She did kind of push Lara off the ledge anyways, and she lived that fall, it's just, she then, uh, was in an exploding, uh, exploding, uh, pyramid. It happens, you know. Okay, so that's, that's wheel number five. Your guess how much longer this level goes for, I'm pretty sure it's not too much longer. I think the level exits real soon. Every copy of Tomb Raider is personalized. That'd be amazing. It's like Animal Crossing. It's like you boot it up and it's just like a completely different game on the inside. I actually, um, 
uh oh i forgot the nintendo 64 dd game but like it it's like oh you you drag um you basically do like some terrain like uh terramorphing um as like a god character um kind of reminds me of of uh what i think black and white is but i've never played black and white um Okay, which way is... I think it's... No, it would be all the way over here. Um, and uh, th that was on the 64DD, so the disc is like a magnetic disc that writes to it. I've never played black and white. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I really should. I should, like, encourage myself to play more blind games, and I've got one queued up for after Tomb Raider 2. Um, but a lot of the games I, I have played before... Uh, I may not look like I've played Tomb Raider 2 before, but trust me, I definitely have, apparently. I played it twice before, that's the worst part. Like, I have re-reminded myself of the game and I've still, like, not remembered it. But I remember Tomb Raider 1 way more. What a slog to get, like, five things. I need to attempt Black and White 1 and Black and White 2 again. The, uh, the... For reference, the Bullfrog games, right? Not the Pokemon. <laughs> I have not played Black and White 1 since it came out. The Pokemon, <laughs> that is. Like, oh my gosh, you gotta just put the things in. Here we go. At the very least, I didn't miss any. I understood this level hands down. And the door opens, and what have we revealed? Well... Guess what goes here? Stick it on. What could happen? Oh, little, little tiny door. Little tiny door. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I just see how this level starts and I know exactly. Very cheeky start to a level. So this is the uh, the catacombs of the Talion. Uh, we're back to ice levels. We had a bit of a detour. Now we're back to chaotic ice level. I have fallen into the Yeti pit. I have fallen into the Yeti pit. I repeat, Co Code Harambe, Code Harambe. Oh my gosh, Harambe, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to complete adventure through every gen and Pokemon Blue 100% at the same time. Uh, one, I last played when I was something 15, 15, 14 years ago. Yeah, dude, it would have been that, that long ago since... I think, I think it was like 2011. Which is still like ages ago. Ages ago for me. Completing adventure through every gen. Um, definitely a lot of perseverance because uh, you'll, the, the rhythms of a Pokemon game are just so apparent um, after a while. And maybe you get into a good flow, you know? Okay, so don't fall into the Yeti pit this time. There's no more Yeti pit, it's just a pit now. That is a weird jump. Maybe I should climb up into there instead. Game 2C, I think I tried again very briefly a couple years ago. 2C as in like crystal? I'm curious whether I, I should play another Pokemon game on this channel uh, so soon. Because I played uh, Gold at the end of last uh -huh. year. Oh, the sea was a typo. Game 2. What was it, Crystal? Game Boy Library for modern people. Pokemon. Uh -huh. there's, a, there's a lot of Game Boy games, like, I would like to to play. Um, I've played a, a handful of, like, neat ones. Typing one hand, because pizza hand is very important. Props to the pizza hand. Uh, oh boy, how do I jump back without, like... Hitting myself. Whoop. <laughs> How about like this? We'll just go for it. We'll just go for it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, Laura. Come on, Laura. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the camera is so stuck here. 
That is not it. There's nothing down here. I need to actually do the jump. So, the Harry Potter ones for the GB. Yeah, I, I actually, I would like to play the Harry Potter Game Boy Color games. Um, I guess, yeah, yeah, like, a lot of games specifically for the Game Boy Color, like, seem like they'd just be very nice games to play, just because the Game Boy Color, like, was a decently powerful, like, little machine. And then, game design from 2001. Hi there, Leopard, how you doing? How you doing, Mr. Leopard? Say hello to my li- What is going on here? This hey Brads, how's it going? Uh, you have at least 1500 in my launch box library on PC. So I only played one Kirby and Pokemon. Someone is also gonna rip into me because yeah, I played uh, Kirby's Dreamland 2. And that's the only Kirby game I've ever played. Um, What's my favorite Tomb Raider game? This one is definitely very neat. I really liked it a lot, and then I swear I never remembered too much of it, but I definitely am enjoying replaying it, if a little bit, uh, me getting a little more lost than earlier Tomb Raiders, but, uh, we haven't looked up anything this stream. It's been, it's been pretty swell so far. Okay, so there's obviously a ledge that's, what? <laughs> you're just gonna you're just gonna have two dudes run up after me, really? And I fell over. The GBC had power something similar to the NES, but I feel the game design was Yeah, like and, and even just regular Game Boy games, um like a lot of them like I mean granted, the the when when did the Game Boy come out? 89? There's a lot of Game Boy games that do have that NES style of just short level Kind of games, and in fact, uh, there's quite a lot of them that are just very miniature games. I think I remember playing the Castlevania Adventure and beating it in like less than an hour. There we go. I was thinking, it's like, should I be able to trigger these? What a jump! What an amazing like ledge. Okay, these guys are these guys are making their way downtown, and they're trying to get me, but. Unfortunately, you can't reach up there, but that's okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I, like, yeah, there's a lot of really, like, good quality Game Boy Color games out there. I mean, like, Pokemon is a, a perfect example of, like, it's 1995, like, uh -huh. a lot of Nintendo 64 games, and a lot, there's a lot of really solid just RPGs from the mid-90s onwards. Tomb Raider Dev's boss... We have too much snow textures, make one was half the... Well, I, granted, this this is only the third snow level. Because you had the Venice levels earlier, and then you had the, the water levels. And there were six water levels. Out of 17 levels, six of them are water levels. Uh, now, there's one more snow level after this one. And, uh, and then... Uh, we've got three more levels in one last location, although... Uh, Knowing how the end of a Tomb Raider game goes, it kind of goes all over the place. Quite a number of people who do challenge runs of Tomb uh -huh. Raider are not for me. I'm not good at challenge runs. I know of the people who do the the no save, um, no med kit runs, and I'm like, you absolute mad lads. That, like, this game feels so brutal if you don't save. Like, like what what, what do you do? Just, just... So I'm looking at this going, huh? No loads, no med packs, all secrets, yeah. All secrets isn't probably the worst, apart from, uh, the first level. Because, uh... The first level has, uh, the, the timed traps. And I feel like uh, the game's a little bit too, uh... I'm gonna say clumsy, that's not quite the right word, but you know what I mean? Where it's like... Like, you gotta just line yourself up and... Go for it. I love the the adventure of these games, but oh my goodness, no saves! Like, mm, game's kind of meant for quick saving. Uh, so I think I gotta do a jump here and hope. For, oh, okay, okay, we're good. And then I can jump this gap and hit a lever. There we go. Uh 
Uh -huh. Look at that. Easy. It has its quirks. Do you know La Mulana? No, I do not know La Mulana. Unless you mean the Mulan film by Disney in 2019. The only version of that film. They never animated it. Never did. It's just only the live action one. That's the only version Disney wants you to see now. Old game. Is it older than the Milan film? Which I guess was 97. Did they even do a Milan game? I don't even know of a Milan game. Okay, so drop down into the pit. Can you work your way back up? Nope, you can't. And the doors phase out of existence, sir. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, it has nothing to do with Mulan. I wonder what La Mulana translates to. Or rather what Mulan as a name means. Disney's got the, the metaphors in there somewhere. Uh, playing PS1 modern era games without saves is real life where everything can kill you even when Jesus himself decides you're going to fall through the textures. At least this game is like very consistent. You can't like really break your way out of, well, you can't break your way out of it, but you can't, like, it's not very easy to glitch out of this game. You gotta, you gotta work for it. And there's a, there's a leopard, and he's, he's giving me a kiss. Hello, leopard. Uh, it's actually a game from 2006, but designed like NES or SNES. Oh, it's like, a, it's like I want to be the guy. Or, uh, oh, I guess like that one, so. Uh, one of those like painfully brutal games. Um, not like I want to be the guy. What's uh, what's another example of one? Because I know like uh, when when I think of like NES style games um, or like new modern NES style games, I think like Shovel Knight is probably one. But Shovel Knight like takes like some graphical liberties. I can't think of like any real like. New NES games. Who put this no. here? I gotta get another mask. Just old games hard. I actually, um, I had a, a, a um, uh, I played, I played two and a half hours of Ahead in Time, and I also played two and a half hours of Hollow Knight. And, uh, I had one kind of quirk going in my head, which is when you die in Hollow Knight, you drop your money, you have to go and pick it up again, and if you die before you get your money back, your money is lost. And then you also have half of your, um, ah. your magic bar available. Uh, and again, it only comes back once you've visited your, your past self again. And I'm thinking like, why? Like, the game can be tricky, and actually I kind of wish the boss, like, uh, one of the bosses I fought, it was the, the girl kind of night hopping around. Uh, I wish she had a bit more feedback as to taking damage. <laughs> She'd like struggle down every so often after like maybe 10 or so hits, but it didn't really click in my head that she'd need to take like 50 hits total. So it just kind of felt like a, a really long fight. Um, and I get, I get it. That's the whole point of that game is to be a bit tricky. I do remember this. I remember there being so many leopards. I'll tell you that. There are so many leopards. They're going to go extinct by the time I... I'm done with this level, I'll tell you that. Oh my goodness. So many leopards. Oh my gosh. Never mind, they breed like rabbits. Uh, speaking of which, I I didn't even realize until Nintendo reminded me that the Mario and Rabbits game comes out next Tuesday. I completely forgot that was about to come out. I don't know if anyone had been hyping it. Um, I tried getting into the first one, and uh, I can appreciate it, but it's it's not my kind of genre, um, so I can't like sit down and play it for ages. Um, but it's fairly neat in how it works, so I would at least say give the uh, the sequel a, uh, a check out when it comes out next week. This is not a paid sponsor part. I really should get paid to just like say, hey, I like this game. Uh, Mario and Rabbids, The Sparks of Hope. Uh, the reason why they teased it is because if you like Rayman, well, they're going to charge you for DLC. The game's not out yet. They've already announced DLC. That's how confident they are. Uh, 
I should have kept the tigers alive. Uh, yeah, uh, and what a bizarre crossover. They, they have Mario, they put the rabbits in there, and then they gave them guns and played like XCOM. Like, someone, like, absolutely sweet talk their way through a boardroom meeting to try and get that actually made. Because that's just a very bizarre, like, mashup of things. Um, I would highly recommend it if you like XCOM style games. It's been on the simpler side, uh, but it's also, you know, a good XCOM game. It's got mechanics, and I'm like, yeah, it worked. It's, it's, like, I, when people meme about, like, oh, Nintendo, like, the only has, like, first party titles, and I guess, like, yeah, it's got mine in the name, so maybe, maybe it's a bit more Nintendo involved than various other games, but it's, uh, it's Ubisoft developed, and... The frame rate definitely makes you feel like it's not a first party developed game. Um, but it's like, it's a bizarre game. And I'm amazed that it's getting a sequel because... Like, it's just a, it's a really weird idea, but... I don't think the sequel is even going to be quite the same game as well. Uh, TD Tycoon and StarCraft 2 had a better story than most modern games. A lot of modern games do not have very good stories. This is... Oh! Harambi? Is that you? Harambi? Is Harambi down there? Oh, oh, he's down somewhere. Oh. I think I've got to visit Harambi. Gosh, what are they doing down there? Okay, never mind the leopards procreating. Uh, oh boy. Let's figure out what this lever does. And yeah. Oh, well, we raised some walls and we lit some torches, and I've let the rombies out. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of rombies. Uh, ghost, dark magic, and time travel. I'm a big fan of games with uh, with time travel if done properly. I'll, I'll definitely say time travel is one that like uh -huh. needs to show up, uh, maybe more in 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 games. I guess like you know, if your games with humans in a realistic setting, <laughs> how often can you really do time travel? Sure, but. You know what I mean? It's like it works in a fantasy setting, it works in a sci-fi setting. I've, that's at the top. Okay. Yep. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a few places you can put it. Uh, is that just a naturally closed door, or is that? Yeah. Why are all the bars closed on me? Is it because I pulled the lever? If I pull that, it closes the door, but then opens the bars. Okay, okay, they didn't make this easy on me. I assume there's something down the bottom here that will make me change my mind. Like a really dimly lit corner. They want me to reach into the Harambi area and find Medkit? Uh huh. I'll accept the med kit because I'm going to need one. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely, like, time travel is something that's way cool. Uh, I'm playing through Dragon Quest V, and uh, we all know how, well, if you play that game, you know how important time is in, the, in that game to some degree. Time travel, now, uh, it's, it's, it's a bizarre MacGuffin of uh -huh. the story that he didn't even need to really be like that, but they wrote it in anyways. And dang it, I enjoy it. I don't care that it causes a paradox. It's fun! <laughs> okay, so that... So this is... What the heck? Is that wall only visible from one side? Did I just... Okay, I take back the bit of like not being able to break this game that hard. Because, uh, 
Yeah, no. So, yeah, okay. Okay, so literally the wall is only visible from one side. And physical from one side as well. Interesting. Uh, and there's no other door or anything down in the Harambe pit. I just picked up goodies. I didn't pick up a key or anything. No, I'm, I'm, I'm empty on my inventory. So this is certainly the way to go. But the moment I open the door, these doors shut on me. Just imagine this in custom map had tower defense as a genre. I can imagine it. So if I close this, they all close on me. The torch stays lit. Uh, I guess these like beams also were not extended. But there's not really... Like, this is just going to get me into that weird like yeah, notch there. Uh, it's a bit dark in this corner, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I'm now expressing a little bit of confusion. So you pull that, things open. You have to pull that in order to get in here. Which then closes the bars on you. So this obviously closes the bars on you, so the only thing I can think of is, uh, if you could somehow block the bar, or the, the bit, yeah, the bars closing on you, but... Or if you could somehow flip this switch from the other side. Like, pulling that just closes them. Ah, uh, mm -hmm, mm hmm. I didn't think I'd have to get lost, but I think I have. What a shame. So, why is there like a diving board here? What does this diving board actually do? I definitely hear stuff. How about let's have this unlocked and just like visit outside because maybe maybe that did activate something just having this pulled but it's bizarre because now I'm thinking well how do I continue on with the level how do I go through that one door and they're definitely telling me about that door but then there's, two dudes, there's three dudes right here wow I hate the Uzi guy. I hate the Uzi guy. I guess they gave me a lot of health earlier. And they give me some health now, so... It's not too bad, but oh my gosh. He did not have a shotgun on him. Why was he holding shotgun ammo? Uh, good tower defense goes far, I'll tell you that. Because yeah, now, like... So that door is closed. Where did those guys come from? That's a closed door. And that's a closed door. I think they just spawned. But yeah, like... With, without that door open, I've clear, I'm clearly missing the puzzle here. I'm clearly missing the puzzle. There's, like, I don't see anything more than the two switches. Pull the switch, the door opens, and the it's closed behind you. Okay, so yeah, that just 100% guarantees that they just flip on you. Like immediately. Immediately. Uh And they're not just hiding another switch on the inside of one of these, like... 
Nope, that's... Nope. And nope. Ah, my gosh. Do I do it? Do I just do it? Because we're only on level two. I've got to play another level of the stream. Fine. Fine, you win. I'm weak. I am so weak. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out any of this game, I swear. Uh, build frozen pond, open area with wall of ice, pitch block, block your room with the yetis. On the upper level, is a block. Well, I kind of had the idea, but I didn't have the execution. So there's a block somewhere on this upper level. Thanks, thanks Stella, appreciate it. Wait, who's got the block? Is that a block? No. Oh, that's the block. Didn't even click in my head. Didn't even click in my head. I'm such a fool. I'm stupid. Hey, at least Ferrari's uh, pick crew didn't, didn't uh, goof up. This weekend, I'll tell you that. What an unfortunate race end, you know? Uh, just, uh, like... Guy guy needs to get towed off track. They pull out the safety car. And then, uh, the race ends before... The safety car pulls in. Or rather, the safety car pulls in as the race ends. So, uh... Yeah, they all kind of just bunched together and that was it. Um... It happens. It feel, I feel like a safety car end happens. There you go, if you jam it like that. Easy. See, I figured it out. All me. Um, yeah. I don't think it was it was too upsetting of a race, because it's like, oh, I mean, that's, that is the directives, and it's not like it gave you a, a real rough outcome. Like, it's kind of just like ending the race early, but kind of anticlimactically as a spectator. Um, yeah, uh... It does mean that the championship is, uh, very close to being decided. Which, uh, for the Max Verstappen fans is, uh, probably what they wanted, because they, they kind of didn't want a, a championship, well, Max's legacy to be. Here's a championship that he won by a technical reason. Sand over here. Watch the watch the boulders go past. Look at that ladder just dangling there. Alluringly, you know? Is that the term? Alluring? It is alluring, I'll tell you that. They want me to do a big jump. They called in, they said I gotta do my own stunts. I'm doing my own stunts today. Uh yeah. Me as an Alpine fan, I'm kind of disappointed that uh, I had one retiree and one guy place 11th. So, no, no, no gold for me though, but uh, oh my gosh, like, you know, who cares because whatever Nick DeVries did in that race, oh, it was a, it was a magni magnifique race. The guy does practice one fast and one as he usually does, goes home, you know. No, like, anticipation for anything else. And then, called up the next day, Alex Albon has appendicitis in the Williams team, and he's called upon to take, uh, take charge. That is... a shark. Or a catfish. No, that's a shark. I'm pointing at another one. Um, but sorry, he subs in for free practice three, and then qualifying in a different car. Uh, qualifies 13th. Grid place penalties applied, he then starts the race in 8th, holds on until 9th, and wins 2 points for his team, putting himself 20th in the championship, ahead of Nicholas Latifi, who has been in every race. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, and it's just like, man, like, yeah, the guy's a, you know, he's consistently been champion of the thing he's been in, but he's never been in Formula 1, uh, beyond practice sessions. And, very loose practice sessions. I think he's done one this year um, before this weekend. It's only d the dudes just absolutely crush it. So I think uh, he's pretty much all but confirmed. Not not confirmed, but like uh, I think he's given given all the other teams just like food for thought. Going, hmm, 
This guy, like, got points after, like, not doing much. I was barely grabbing that ledge. This, uh, gets you to experience the fun thing that is, uh, not being able to put your feet on the ladder rungs. And then you get to the top and you still gotta do a jump. You still gotta do a jump, like, excuse me. Just on this, like, teeny tiny ledge. Just to get a switch. Get a switch. And we open the door. I love opening a door. There we go. Into the water. And to continue on. I love how very different of a level this is, where this is just like... Straight and there's more leopards! I hate leopards. I don't want leopards anymore. They're like massive cats that are hungry. I don't want hungry massive cats. That's not a block you can push, that's just... It's just a platform. Oh, but it, is, it does have a switch on it. Who put that there? Okay, open up the door there. Where am I? I am on top of the pot. What am I doing on top of the pot? It is a very hot pot, and it will come into importance later, I know that. Uh, is it? Is there a way to really get down from here, or <laughs> no, you just kind of take a leap? Because, yeah, I haven't quite, haven't quite unlocked the, uh, the wedding of the pot yet. And we've been in this room, so we've been on the, uh, the up on this one. Uh, but yeah, nah. Very exciting race for him. Uh, for everyone else, it was an alright race, although uh, I really appreciated uh, Mick Schumacher kind of going ham. <laughs> I've said going ham like in four different contexts. Uh, it was going ham. It was it was going, so it was a good race. Uh, oh boy. Oh wait, those are on the next ledge up. Oh my gosh, what's down here? Don't tell me, it's another Yeti pit. They didn't put another Yeti pit down there, did they? <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to trigger the, the snowballs. There you go. <laughs> Whoops. Well, okay, it's not it's not a Yeti pit, at the very least. It's not a Yeti pit. Don't do that, don't do that one. Okay, how do, how do you get the snowballs out of the way? Come back, jump. Now we're good. What is that? Oh, I think that's just a door. Yeah, this is just a door. Oh. Okay. Oh, you wanna trigger this one? There you go. <laughs> uh, so now I'm in this room. Two doors. Okay. Is this mystical guess the room, or... What's going on here? I am now in this room. I'm now going to walk through the spikes. And this door is not opening, because... How come? If I go back to this door, it'll open up for me and let me leave. Okay. Interesting. I... Do, okay, I don't remember off the top of my head the magical... Uh... Is there a path on the ceiling? That they're indicating or like what is what is the indication here what what, what exactly do they want me to to walk through here
I'm just gonna walk on every step, but the only other thing I can think of is that there's something above me, but I can't quite reach that. So... It's a bit mysterious. Oh, there's another switch back here. Ah, okay. Two switches. Okay, okay. They nearly got me with the pit, but not today. Not today. I, I have seen your tricks, game. Okay, what's down here? Oh, that's it! That was the end of the level. I jumped. I literally jumped. I was like, oh, gosh. Look at that! On track! On track! <laughs> So what is this? This is the final ice level, the Ice Palace. With a bell. Like all good levels, like all good bells, you gotta be able to hit the bell. Um, oh no. My Harambe indicators are going off. Can you, can you smell it? Oh my goodness, did you expect that? I didn't. <laughs> I forgot, there's bounce pads. They put bounce pads in a Tomb Raider game with full damage. The absolute mad lads. Oh. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not gonna enjoy this. Or will I? I'll enjoy it. I'll enjoy it. Uh, so how about I, I, I mention that topic of, uh, products and ads should have made Lara bouncy instead. Can't even shoot at the wrong big cage. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll mention the topic, I, uh, which was uh, the Ryzen 7000 and, and announcing stuff and the hype. I'd say uh, there's one channel out there um, uh, that is very notorious in spreading a lot of uh, leaks uh -huh. and rumors. Some of the leaks are ones that are like they're cross uh, referenceable, as in like various other people also said the same thing. Sometimes they do say stuff that is correct on their own, but uh, other times uh, they'll say things like Intel has stopped the lineup of their new dedicated GPUs. Uh, or rather they say effectively cancelled, which is funny because effectively means whatever the heck you want it to be, apparently. Uh, and it's purely because one of their leakers says they're not continuing after the first generation. And then he proceeds to give 30 minutes of a video of reasons that are not founded in any reason because his source gave him one statement. I think you've actually got to bounce it. Alright, let's actually bounce it. Let's see what's going on. Um, I just saved over the... that save. Oops. Well, as long as it's not my screenshot. I, I am forever bounce. Bounce here. So we might be able to go onto the t the upper level from here. It's a really, really like tricky ledge, though. I'll tell you. But I think I think you can see what I'm trying to go for here. Because Lara goes forward when, when she hits the bounce pad, so as long as I hit the bounce pad, maybe just directly going this way. No, because I hit my head on the ceiling. <laughs> so I've got to actually like take it from a little bit of an angle, yeah. Oh, but don't, don't hit that one. Okay, I'm not going up anymore. <laughs> I'm not going up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> This is less and less feeling like this is the way to go, but I did the jump anyway! Stuff you, level designers! I got this. Harambees are very angry. Uh -huh. They do not like- they do not like me getting the bounce pad right away. There's nothing- there's no other way up here as well. That is kind of what they want. That is what they want. I have released the Harambees, haven't I? Uh, well, they're down there. They they are going wild. They are going. They are coming up for me. They are they are 
very upset. Okay, let's, I'm, I'm jumping into your pit. You can't get me now. Oh, actually they can. They totally could trap me in there. Oh, oh, he's step. Oh, I should have planned this better. I should have actually planned it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, now I got to do the jump again. I didn't even save up for the jump. I didn't even save up for the jump. I can't believe it. All because, all because one, I keep calling the Yetis Harambees, which is completely incorrect. But also because. Let him get to me. There you go. At least you can turn in midair slightly, and that gives you just enough. Just enough ability. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, this certain channel spreads a lot of leaks slash rumors. Um, some true, some not. Uh, ultimately, there's nothing really too wrong with a, a leak rumor channel, as long as people are aware that it's a leak rumor channel. They don't set their expectations too high or too low, just because of supposed leaks. And I think it's kind of tough with leaks, because it's like... They're hard to really, like, verify, and yeah, you can, you can totally say that a company just kind of makes leaks and then just goes oh whoops you know they're wrong or so uh then comes the actual announcements uh -huh. and this is when you get some hard data but you know it's also like well is it like is it something you can verify well you can't verify right now uh at the very least both intel and amd in the tech space have kind of learned to give the reviews two weeks a head start before the um or at least the embargo is a two week head start before the uh, consumer release. Um, which is very nice because uh, Intel used to do same day stuff and it's just like, oh my goodness, like you'd never know whether the product was good or not until uh, until it came out, which sounds kind of like, oh yeah, like it obviously will sell more sales if it sucks. But then it's just like, I don't know, like we kind of want to know if the chips are good. And that's it. So, good that both of them are giving a two-week head start on the, the reviews, uh, and perhaps, I don't know, in, in uh, Intel's case, if the chips are also just going to be, like, readily available in stores before, um, before the review embargo's even up, because that, that, uh, that was a fun thing that happened. The stores are just like, oh, stuff it was so unreal. I should have shot this instead of climbed up onto it. I'm now standing on this tiny little ledge. That I jumped to and managed to climb onto. I'm not having a, a smooth sailing in my bouncy castle ice cave. But that's that's okay. Uh, but certainly, I guess, in the context of the AMD stuff, uh, and who knows? You know, I might be wrong in a, in a hot moment because uh, the review embargo is running out very soon. Um... Why did that bell activate now? What did that bell activate? I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Like, was this always here? Did you always shoot that bell from here? Is that the same bell or is that a different bell? Okay, I think that's just literally two different bells. Okay, well. Where did, oh gosh, where does this put me now? Jeez. Five minutes into this level, can't believe it. Oops. Oops. Who, who put bounce pads in my Tomb Raider game? This just feels... This feels like a Geneva violation. A violation of the Geneva Convention. I guess this game is a platformer at heart, though. Also, uh, this kind of platforming. 
They knew exactly what they're doing here. And now the best part, you gotta work your way back left. Oh my gosh. Listen, I, do, I don't mind the idea of being able to like shoot the targets. There we go, and one more, there we go. Whew. So what, what lies further up beyond the gate? The ancient music. The same tune that's always been playing every time I go into a mystical new area. There we go. It's not exactly a, a new area, it's just kind of above the last one. So, uh, we got a wall here, nothing over there, and we got a snowy cliff face over here. So let's do a nice diagonal jump. Don't do this to me. Hey, he's right there. He's right there, the cheeky bugger. The cheeky- oh, the cheeky bug- he has- He has murdered me. He has murdered me viciously. And he will never shut up about it. Jeez, man. Toxic environment. Uh, oh, now I gotta do this job. Bonk. What's with the Yetis? What actually is with, like, the Yetis? Is that like a... Because we're in Tibet right now. Is that like a big, like, uh... Tibet thing, like the Yetis, the Chupacabra. <laughs> Is that, that's not, that's not Tibet at all. Why are they even here? Like, two enemies, the, the leopards and, and, the, and the Yetis. They've given Blue Microphone so much- so many ideas. The snowballs, the Yetis, Tibet is part of the Himalayas. Oh my gosh, these are the abominable snowmen. There's so many of them. There's, that's actually why they've gone extinct, because Lara went in, just not mistaken as the origin region of the Yeti myth. The more I know... I actually- it, it didn't even click in my head, like, where the Himalayas were as well. But yeah, no, that totally makes sense. But, oh my gosh. So these actually are yetis, they're not just like... Snow gorillas. I, I, I guess they don't really look like gorillas, do they? I, guess, I don't know. They're big, muscular, and make weird noises. But uh, I guess they were gorillas in the first game. Just check the word yeti is literally Tibetan for snowman. Ah. Uh-huh. Actually snowman. Uh. Is that like snowman as in like person or human? Uh. It's like a werewolf and then people say wear something and it's like the wear part of werewolf means man, so if, uh -huh. if you wanna do wolf stuff, it's like the it's like the werehog from uh Sonic Unleashed. It's like, the where means man. Like, should have called it the hedge wolf. Sounds funny, but yeah, no, that's technically what it is. Oh my gosh, actual tiger. Oh my goodness, oh gosh. Oh jeez. Oh lordy, oh lordy, <laughs> no. Jeez. Shadow the Edge Wolf. There you go. Actually, three, like, tigers. They did not, like, pull out the stops on this one. Where was the switch with the... with the face mask uh -huh. on it? I'm hoping it was just right outside. I didn't even... I didn't even acknowledge in my head. If I saw it. Oh, it was literally here, I just... Wait, was it? Where does... Where does this go? Oh. I'm up on a ledge. 
That keeps going further down. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh my gosh. There's a second one? Don't tell me there's a second one at the end of this corridor. Oh my gosh, I, I'm getting I'm getting absolutely afraid by this kind of stuff. Almost mm -hmm. in time for the spooky month of Halloween. You know, Hallow's Eve, aka the entire month of, of uh, October. I love that October entirely becomes Halloween month. It's an idea, so... Uh, so, uh, moral is, uh, with the AMD stuff, uh, not saying curb your expectation, because, uh, what they announced seems pretty exciting, and actually, like, I'm really glad that it feels like a safe product in the sense of, like, I think we can kind of guarantee that it can probably be, you know, fine working products. Is there anything there? Ooh. You know, out of all the places, I was not expecting spikes there. And there's spikes there as well, but there's not spikes on the space next to it. So like if I jump down here, I'd just have to deal with the Yeti. The problem is I have to deal with the Yeti in the dark. Or at least around my around my flare. Alright, let's get the <laughs> get the flare back. Um yeah, Intel's announcing new stuff, uh, October 28th, so give it... October? September 28th, sorry. Um, so maybe they've got something up their sleeve. Uh, we know that the 13900K is going to be an 8-core, or 8P core, 16 efficiency core chip. And to me, that sounds like it either could be really good or really inapplicable. Like something that's like, I don't really know what to use it for. Um, the AMD stuff seems much more conventional and honestly more powerful single core, uh, well, whoever wins the single core head to head is, uh, also I love how I'm back up out here. Do, do you like how, uh, it's one of those dual levels? They did this in the first game as well, it's like here's a level and you just casually like pop yourself on a higher ledge above the existing area. Also this looks like a place to put the Mars, oh that's convenient. So I assume that that opened up a door or something? That must have opened up a door. <laughs> There's this whole last area. And I feel like I shouldn't have jumped down there. I should have just walked out the door. Yeah, I should have. I should have just pulled a Yui. Uh, avoid the spikes. I forgot where all the spikes were. Not along this wall. Here we go. And now I can run up here. Hurrah! Dude, if you love massive levels like this that keep like looping back on themselves, uh, oh boy, if I ever play Tomb Raider four, I'll tell you that. So finally, what does this pot do? Well, you, you hit the lever, and it tips. Did we do this already? We poured the hot... Oh no, we didn't. Yeah. We pour the hot lava in, and it's hot. And we can finally swim underneath the surface. In the freezing cold water. Would you look at that? It's a, it's a, well, what is it? It's a gong hammer. And you're wondering, there was a gong somewhere? And apparently there was. Ah. Uh, and they've delivered the sharks. Oh my gosh. That, that's everything. There's yetis, there's sharks, there's stalactites. Everything is out to kill them. Oh my gosh, there's so many yetis. There's so many yetis. It's a yeti rave. Jeez. 
Okay. Okay. I have I have not prepped myself for the Yeti rave. Uh, Lara will fend her way out of the darkness and up this ledge. Okay. Yeti rave. Anticipate the Yeti rave. I was not ready for the Yeti. Are you ready, Yeti? You know. I do appreciate they still correctly modeled the, the ledge over there with the, the lever, even though the lever is up. Ah, uh, minus one game, minus one. The lever is up. Ah. Uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I don't know, a lot of people, and I guess, you know, in the, in the days leading up to a product's release, there's a lot of hype about really what it is and what it can do, uh, and all I'm saying is, uh, I, I do feel like with, uh, uh, not exclusively AMD, so it's like a fan one, but probably like, but, oh, please give me a hug. Uh, but I feel like for both of the companies, it's like, yeah, I mean, both of them are gonna help drive down prices of the existing generation and I think the existing generation is really good like 5950X's if you even need them because they're really overkill uh, but it's like you know they they launched at a kind of hefty price and now they've come down a fairly comfy amount maybe I should pop a small med kit here because I'm gonna get hyped you lose so much health when they hug you. Alright, get past him, get past him, get past him, get past him, get past him. Get past him. Oh! Oh! Hey, he's crawling, he's cro- Where- Where is he crawling from? Okay, that's it. That's it. We're pulling out the big guns. We're pulling out the big guns. Yep. Oh! I did the- I did the tab. I did the tab out. Nice. Oh, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Nice. I'm amazed there's no splash damage on the grenade launcher. Do you think that's kind of weird? You just kind of take it, take it full on. Okay, so I crawled over here just to be told that, yeah, I should have been using the grenade launcher, but that's okay. Uh huh. That's okay, you know? You, sometimes you gotta panic so that you uh -huh. don't have to panic. Why they put one on one side and three on the other? Who knows? I appreciate blowing up yetis as well. It's still, still a, uh, a tried and true practice. And it's very dark in this corridor. All these stalactites, I tell you, man. They're coming at you real hard. Uh... Oh, well, no way you're running away from the yetis if you gotta climb, uh -huh. climb a wall. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's such a good feeling, though. It's such a good feeling to just, like, absolutely, like, combust them. Like, like things barely bleed in this game. You have these, like, little tiny splatters. If you need to. That... That's a lot of boulders. Do you think that's a lot of boulders? I think it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. They're gonna keep coming, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's out of here? Uh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, they love doing this now, don't they? They did it once at the end level of Tomb Raider 1, and now they're just like, ah, oh, you gotta do the, the slidey jumps. Where it's like there's a death pit right in the middle. They love them, don't they? Uh, where are we now? Massive ice wall that I apparently have clipped the camera out of bounds. Very, yeah, you can see that. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we can climb up, so... Let's do it! Let's climb up. But yeah, I guess like... 
you know a lot of uh, a lot of people do kind of buy into hyper rumors and this is not about tech this is more about like really everything but it's like i don't know is it does it feel like it's more of a thing uh in this web 2.0 kind of kind of world or is it more just more aware of people falling for things so imagine getting all the way here and not having the gong hammer here we go To hidden the the gong. Uh, gong. Well, this this is an ominous kind of wall, isn't it? But I hit the gong. <laughs> Do you think it's a little weird that nothing has come to greet me after hitting the gong? Maybe I gotta open a door for him. They've got a they've got a ladder here. I don't know, it kinda looks like you're just supposed to fall well, if you fall off then you yeah, very weird. I thought something was gonna come out and kill me. Looks like I live again. This is uh oh boy. Okay. <laughs> take two, take two, load the save. Alright, <laughs> you can say gong again. Gong. Okay, something broke. And obviously you can't interact with the gong again. You can slide over here, which might be kind of neat because you can go behind the gong. There's not really any need to go behind the gong, I guess. <laughs> I can dance around on the top here. It definitely looks like there's something inside here. That looks a bit fancy. What do you think? Uh huh. Yeah, what is that? The Italian. Well, I, <laughs> it was the name of the level, so I probably would have guessed. Uh. Okay, so I guess uh, with that, now can I leave the level? Oh, hi there. <laughs> uh, you know, classic, classic Tomb Raider enemy right here. All right, let's get him. Okay, he's gonna come and wreck my day. Hi there. Oh, see ya. I was gonna try and do some grenade launcher shots while backflipping. I jumped one too far. <laughs> I should've I should have remembered there was a ledge there. Oh it's side dodge and you still punch me anyways. And you still punch me anyways. Okay, he is he is angry. The bird man listen, what's what's like weirder than the Yeti? Bird man. Blue microphone. Write it down, this is your next idea. There we go. Took him out by shooting him lots with the grenade launcher. There you go. A shorter level. Would you look at that? I managed to end the stream on time. Ish. 203. We got a cutscene though. So Lara emerges from an actually, like, properly length level. I'm actually amazed they didn't. That was the third level. There's only three more levels plus a little short bonus thing at the end of this game, and I will say that all. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, maybe you did. It's because, like, the last level moved over the bridge of the level before, so it looked like it was one level. But it was actually two levels. Anyway, Lara drives the vehicle very uh, recklessly. You 
know, she's been pretty good at shooting everyone, so she's just kind of having a bit of fun driving, you know, going on a goose chase with this guy. Ooh, the drift. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. They gotta explode for good, good measure. We got the truck coming along. The evil guy's truck is caught up. It's a tiny little car. Oh. Good thing that was a very well positioned jump there. Anyway, she managed to drive the car the entire way to the Great Wall of China. Uh, which is right at the beginning of the game. You remember we encountered this door, the very first level, and we finally picked up the key to open uh, the chamber of secrets, I guess. What lies in wait? We'll have to save for the next, uh, the next stream. I have left you all on a wonderful cliffhanger, but, uh, we're in the home stretch. We're here in China, ready to uncover the secrets in the temple of Xian? Xian? Something like that. Uh, anyways, with that, oh, I forgot to mention my stream deck was actually working again. Thanks, OBS28, updated QT6, broke the, the stream deck plugin, appreciate it. Anyways, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. Uh, you'll, yeah, you'll definitely see me next week. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to, you can follow or is there any other sign you can do on Twitch to show appreciation? You can say hello. I don't know. If, there's, there's people idle in there. Do chat. I appreciate your company and I hope uh, you enjoyed the stream and if you missed bits of it or you want to watch bits of it later, uh, you know how the drill ends up on YouTube. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, next stream will be the end of the main Tomb Raider 2. I will do one extra stream for the, uh, the downloadable bonus levels. And I know you're probably worn out Tomb Raider 2. And then that's it. That's it. No more Tomb Raider 2. We're done. Uh, so tune in next week where you'll find the stunning conclusion and also what the heck was that bird monster thing? It's probably something to it. So anyways, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late and uh, somehow end your streams on time. Who knows how, how that works? Uh, all right. Have a good one, everyone.